That's right. Economists say this is going to hit several different industries and trickle down to us, the consumers. So if you're buying something online, you'll probably see prices increase with those shipping costs. Or if you're even hailing an Uber or Lyft, that'll also cost you as well. It sucks because now it's hard to get place to place. You kind of got to be more stationary in places because, like, you don't want to go out and burn gas and then you have to pay five dollars just for a gallon. Drivers are shelling out more and more money at the pump with no relief in sight. On Thursday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi answering a reporter question, siding with some senators on a proposal to ban oil from Russia. I'm all for that. Ban it. Ban the oil. Ban the oil come from Russia. But White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the president would not do that because it would lead to even higher gas prices. We don't have a strategic interest in reducing the global supply of energy. Uh, and that would raise prices at the gas pump for the American people uh, around the world um, because it would reduce the supply available. Things could get even pricier. For the first time in years, the national average for diesel fuel hit $4 a gallon. In California, that rate well over 5 bucks. Fuel prices haven't gone up this much ever. I've never seen an increase of 70 cents in three days. And it's... It's really going to impact our operations. Michael Johnson at Raleigh's Trucking in Rancho Cucamonga says they're trying to pivot the best way they know how. The company transports electronics, tires, and much more. We're going to come up with some strategies and uh, you know talk with our customers. I think that's probably the the first way to be and be honest with them. We we can't operate at a loss. Companies experience an increase in their costs, specifically transportation costs, and so they don't just eat up those costs, right? They they pass on some of those costs to the consumer in the form of either, you know, just higher prices on the final goods or as you're mentioning, surcharges. Daniel McDonald is an associate professor of economics at Cal State San Bernardino. He says if prices haven't gone up yet, we can expect them very soon on the things we buy. It's just going to make it harder for these for these companies and for these people to to make money and to stay competitive when they're being pushed out of the market by these higher prices. And Shelby, what are we hearing from economists on how we can deal with the fuel prices? Yeah, it's really difficult to do that, but they do say that trying to become less gas dependent. I know it's hard. A lot of us are really stuck in our ways going to the store however many times you've got to go, but they say try to cut down on however many times you're leaving your home. Of course, a lot of us have to go to work, right? So try to carpool if you can, and that'll save you money as well as some of your coworkers as well. Reporting live here in Rialto, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. You guys